Hey there everybody, how's it going today? Ian back here with you, Entertainment Examiner. I have not had a unboxing in quite a while, I apologize. Um, but I do have my Zobi Fright Pack. This is the Director's Cut box. Um, I'm usually really good at, re at recalling what the themes are, but I don't seem to remember what um, all of them are for this one. I'm sure once I start opening it, I'll remember. I'm getting a conf confused with another box, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. We'll see what's inside. So it seems pretty heavy, actually. Um, once once I start opening it, I'll, I'm sure I'll remember. We got some red tissue paper, which is appropriate for a horror box. I feel, I feel the pin already. Ah, uh, yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very nice, very big pin. Ooh, I like this pin a lot. There it is, right there. That's a very cool pin. Got you got the chainsaw right in your face with the leather face there. I've seen some people do this. I'll go ahead and look on the back and see which uh, num number I got out of 100. I got 38 out of 100. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, there's usually at least two autographs in this box and usually a shirt. Okay, that, that, that is a cool pin. Looks like there's also a prop. Um, let's see what's on the shirt. I'm kind of curious. So it, their shirts are rather unique. Ooh, oh wow. Oh, I love this shirt. I love this shirt. This is my favorite shirt that they've done. I love this shirt. This is Psycho. Look at look at how cool this shirt is. It's got Norma. I'm sorry, Norman. Vivian Lee. I think it was mother. That's not his mother. That's, that. no. Um... Uh, Viv Vivian Lee, uh, of course, Andy Perkins as Norman, and you got a silhouette of Hitchcock there. Plus, you got the house in the background. Of course, that is an, an iconic, of course, horror movie, 1960, Hitchcock Psycho. Had th three sequels um, after it. Psycho 2 was actually really good. If you've never seen Psycho 2, you probably should. I have all four of them, but I need, need to rewatch three and four again, so. Um, Next, we'll do, do this rather large prop item here. Oh, th this is the Funko Pop. Aha! Uh, that's right, they, they did say that there would be a Funko Pop in this box, so... A sign pop. And it's bloody, too. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Mark Steger, who played Harold. Very cool, I love the bloody aspect of this pop. There's the authenticity, the JSA. Very cool. I like the blood splatter on here, and I like the, the autograph. I enjoyed Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I thought it was a good, you know, kind of aimed at younger kids, but not really. So um, next we have, ah, uh, yes, Churchill Manor. This is the graphic novel, if you will, or the comic book that, that they promised. Wow, there's a lot in here. Um... Cool. It's just a black and white comic book. Cool. I've never heard of Churchill Manor, but I will definitely give this a read. Oh, and it's signed, too. I believe by the... Uh, there's... It looks like there's four. Hayes, Henry, Salinas, McGuire. I'm not sure who the who signed that, but I guess we'll see at the end, so... Finally, I think we just have the one autograph for this one. Yes, that, that would be it. Aha, uh -huh. um, I believe this is Ed Gale, who played Chucky. He actually played played Chucky in Child's Play. He was the, like, when they had to film the doll running or something, he played the doll. Because that's Alex Fitz and Andy Barkley, who I, 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 who I met him. But that's cool, I do not have Ed Gale's autograph. And of course, he's a good guy. So very cool. That's awesome. Now we're going to look and see what the spoilers are here. Always a great thank you from jail. So let's look at the card and recap. Okay, let's take a look at the recap here. Well, well, well we do have two autographs, I guess, because the pops autograph. So um, Eden Gross. This is not. A, this is not who I thought it was. Eden Gross. Uh, your eight by ten. Ah, photo was hand signed. I apologize, Eden. I did not know who you were. Was hand signed by the 
voice of the good guy doll in Child's Play. Ah, oh, the voice of the doll. Oh, well, that's cool. I like that. Um, I don't. I didn't get one of the two photos here, but I did get this photo, which, which is fine. Either is fine. But those are the two ones they feature, but I, I, I received that one, so which is fine too, because Chucky talks all the time. So awesome. Um, next we have our Funko Pop hand signed by Her by uh, Harold and Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark from last year, 2019. Mark Stigger. Very cool. Um, I got the rare pin, ooh, out of one, 100. Uh, there's also one you could have received out of 500 for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I like both of those. So, that's the one I got, and then there's the other one. Okay. Um, Churchill Manor. The, 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 this comic book has an exclusive cover of the one-shot issue of Churchill Manor. And the graphic tee features a Zobie exclusive design inspired by Psycho. I really love this shirt. This is an awesome shirt. It's like all the detail on it, honestly. So. Okay. Um, well, that's a four star Zobie box from, uh, for me this month. I really enjoyed everything in here. Um, you also could have received a, m a metal card inspired by Child's Play, created by Josh Lemon. So, very cool. So, uh, to recap, we have the awesome Psycho shirt. Definitely one of my favorite shirt design that they've done. The Churchill Manor uh, comic book. The exclusive, and I, and I really got the exclusive pin. And the two, and the two autographs, one was Mark Steger from Scary Stories Town of Dark, and the other one was Eden Gross. I apologize to Eden. I did not know you existed. I thought it was the actor who played Chucky, but it was not. It's the voice of the good guy doll, which is even cooler. So, um, yeah, awesome. Another great Zoe Fright Pack. Um, I don't think that they've announced the, the themes for the next one yet, but from this, I'm just excited. So, yeah, well, let me know that, that down in the comments what you guys thought about this box. Um, what, what was your favorite item? Um, I like the t-shirt a lot this month, and I thought the pin was really cool, too. I love how big their pins are. And my favorite autograph, probably the Eden Gross, because it was one I didn't expect. So, um, yeah, everything was really good. Well, let me know if you got Zoe Fright Pack, what you thought about this box. Uh, leave me a like, comment, subscribe. And um, that's all I got for this unboxing video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.